What is going on it is DJ Crowley here. It's Simmer Down live from home once again. And we got some new friends in the house. Sun Dub, Brooklyn, New York. What's going on, guys? Glad to be here. Uh, just hanging out, hanging out here in Williamsburg. Happy to be chatting with you guys. Happy Sunday. Yeah, so. man. You know, Sun Dub, what a cool name. And that's going to be kind of a theme within this chat we have about how you guys have, you know, plays on words. Tell us about why you called your band Sundub. Um, so the truth of actually where the name Sundub came from is that um, we started as a residency that happened on Sunday. So maybe not the most like exciting genesis of the name, but that's the truth. And I think we've sort of grown into the name more. Um, like you said, it has dub obviously in it. The sun part of it is a widely appealing <laughs> thing, I guess you could say. I don't know. It fits the name and the vibe of the band and communicates sort of what we're about, I would say. Yeah, it, it really does, man. And we're going to talk about your music here. You know, there's this like almost musical sunshine i guess you could say that's happening within it obviously roots soul powerful and almost spiritual at times tell us about your music you know i think one of the most beautiful things about sundub's music is that all of us that come that came together to create this band all are influenced by a lot of different music but we all are united by this love and you know uh, kind of obsession with reggae music and uh, and I and one of the biggest reasons that I was drawn to reggae in the first place is just the the fact of the matter that it's you know it's music that can have a lot of different really important impactful messages it's not love it's not just only love songs it's it's political messages it's mu it's songs about unity it's songs about anti-oppression it's songs about equality and and justice and um you know that's those are all things that we yeah. like to speak on. And so I think, you know, kind of encompassing all of those pretty heady lyrical ideas, you know, you know, we have some, we have love songs too and danceable stuff, but it all kind of fits within this package of, of music that um, makes you move, makes you think, makes you, you know, feel connected and, and feel spiritually moved. Mm -hmm. So um and I feel like the sun part too can also act as the hook in case you're not yeah. trying to maybe dive deep right away into the revolutionary or <laughs> sort of like deeper themes. The sunshine, easy, like sort of vibes that a lot of people associate with reggae. That's a that's a good easy hook to totally. get you in there and then you can go deeper. Yeah. Into, and the heartbeat music. I mean, reggae yeah. is based off of the boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. And that's yeah. just like, you know, it draws people in immediately. That's that. Yeah. Subconsciously. Subconsciously. Yeah. Yeah. Subconsciously. You know, that's interesting. You said draws you in immediately. Me and Blue were kind of doing our, you know, music meeting on, you know, New Music Friday, blah, blah, blah. And we're, we're scrolling through stuff and we saw this thing, Sundub. And that, just that name brought us in. And we start, we listen to Spirits Eat Music, which is this new record that we're going to be talking about. And we were hooked. It brought us in immediately, man. All the way through. We listened to that record all the way through. And mm -hmm. it's it's such a powerful thing, man. You just, just start sign with Easy Star, All Stars, you know, Easy Star Records, Brooklyn, New York, man. Tell us about Spirits Eat Music. Um. I would say, first of all, it is intended to be listened to all the way through, like you just mentioned you did. Um, I think that was definitely a goal of ours in making this record, <clears throat> is to stay true to uh, the fact that it is an, a record, an album that's meant to be listened from beginning to end. It's sort of thematically as well as musically put together in that way. Not that it's a concept record, but it was very purposely put together as, um, you know, 
each song be able to stand individually as well as a whole project. It's very strong. So I would say, you know, this, this album is um, appealing in a lot of different levels in terms of uh, reggae it has a lot of different vibes within the reggae genre from the roots, like you said, to a more contemporary hip hop kind of sound to, um, the Afro even, beats, yeah, some more Afro beat kind of ska. stuff. Ska, oh, we really touched, we tried to touch everything on this album. Yeah. And I feel like it's really, it's as mature of a sound as we've achieved so far as this, as this band and unit. So I'm really proud of this record and happy with its wings and legs so far. <laughs> so let's go back to this whole like theme of names. Spirits eat music. Why did you call it that? They're eating good. <laughs> they are good. That's exactly it. Um, you know, we sort of believe that spiritual beings, you know, ancestors, people that are no longer on this plane anymore, they're no longer living in their dense bodies. And what they do to be fed is listen to music. And when we are playing music as a band, it's a very you know, kind of ceremonial experience for us. You know, we really try to like be super intentional about what we're playing, who we're playing it for, and like, you know, making sure that we're not just playing it for the people that are standing there in the room listening, but also all of the all of the spirits and beings that we cannot see and let, making sure that they know that they're welcome and that, you know, they know that we're playing music, not just for, you know, our physical bodies, but for those those energies that that kind of you know subsist on music now that they can't eat food anymore this is their food mm. music as a meal how cool they, is that very explicitly intent, intended for them like this is for you yeah i am offering this for your nourishment right now <laughs> this is for you I love it. I love it. Hey, if you guys are just tuning in, you're late. you're late. It's all good. We've got Joanna and Ben from Sundub out of Brooklyn, New York. Real quick, how can everybody find you, especially this new record, Spirits Eat Music? Spirits Eat Music is available everywhere that you listen to and buy music. Um, Sundub Music on Instagram, S-U-N-D-U-B. Also, our website, sundubmusic.com. We're on Facebook, Spotify, Apple Music, all, every single platform. Uh, Spirits of Music came out in November of 2022, and it's it's out there, so go check it out. And the vinyls and CDs are also available on our store on our website. Yeah, man, we're going to grab that vinyl for sure. You can't see it now, but to my right, house left, stage right, you, we have a huge collection of vinyl and that one will definitely be an addition. So I want to move on a little bit. I want to talk about New York. I want to talk about uh, you guys signing with easy star uh, and Brooklyn, man, Brooklyn. When, when I was out touring, you know, Brooklyn was a very special place. Don't tell anybody, but it's my favorite borough in New York. Why is Brooklyn so special? That's a good question. A good um, question. There's such a mix of people in Brooklyn. That's part of the reason why it has such an incredible music scene. Um, there's always something happening. Um, we're going tonight to this venue called Sony Hall, where they're having the 25th annual Bob Marley tribute show. Um, that's been happening in New York for 25 years, put on by the Cannabis Cup Band. If you're from New York and part of the reggae scene or music scene, you know about this band. So that's just an example just happening today of the incredibly rich music scene here, reggae scene here that's been really powering a lot of you know major artists in the scene for a long time. Um, and that's why Sundub is what it is today is because of the people in this community here in Brooklyn and New York City, musicians. Um, yeah. yeah, I also think, you know, not, I'm not going to sit here and compare Brooklyn to other boroughs because every Can't borough has its own allure and its own like special thing about it, you know, multiple special things about, about it. 
Um, but just in, you know, direct comparison, like Manhattan to Brooklyn, you know, Brooklyn has a little bit more breathing room. There's a little bit, there's more trees. There's more just like kind of room to stretch out. Yeah. Whereas like in Manhattan, you know, it's just hustle bustle constantly. I mean, there's plenty of hustle bustle here in Brooklyn too, but Brooklyn's a little bit more livable. People get a little bit more comfortable here. Um, and there's just more opportunities for like communities to come together to build things. That's not just, you know, in the city that never sleeps kind of kind of energy. True. Right. It, it's, it's, uh, it's an artistic place. It's an artistic right. borough. I think the yeah. whole city itself obviously is an artistic place, but uh, over the years, every time I would come through Brooklyn, uh, whether it be as a tour manager for a band or whatever, uh, it's, it's changing and getting better and better and better and more artistic yeah. and, and more inclusive. And it's just, it's a beautiful place, man. We love Brooklyn. We do too. And people hustle. Hustle is real. Yeah. Sundub, yeah. Sundub wouldn't be Sundub without Brooklyn, that's for sure. Brooklyn made Sundub what it is. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, also in New York, we have the great Easy Star Records. You guys are the newest family member of Easy Star. How did that come about? Easy Star was on the hit list, so <laughs> to speak. We've been I've been a big fan of Easy Star, the label, the Easy Star All Stars who are their, you know, label band. Um we we got to know a lot of people who are involved in the band and the label, and it was just really one of very few choices of uh families that we wanted to join in terms of a record label. And the fact that they are based here in New York um there's also a work to uphold and strengthen yep. and, you know continue to pump out great music not only from new york-based bands you know jamaican bands like bands from all over yeah. california um the fact they're here though was but they, attractive but the to that, us yeah totally to, be, to want to be part of them just to yeah. be able to get facetime with the the label and work that work that much more closely with them yeah yeah um, they've been really great I was speaking with Eric and Lem and, you know, they're, they're just such wonderful people. I, I've known them for years and, you know, they do their thing, you know, yep. and the bands that they bring in like giant Panda, John Brown, you know, I mean, it goes on and on and on. Uh, there's this just powerful thing. There's this family feeling, especially yep. with Definitely. the easy star crew, man, they are just amazing. I'm so glad that they found you or you found them or that combo pack of whatever that was. Yeah. And, uh, and now we have Sundub as a part of the family. If you're just tuning in again, you're late. This is the simmer down radio program. We're doing it live from home. I'm DJ Crowley. We've got Joanna and Ben of Sundub, the newest member of the easy star records family in the house. Uh, you know, I want to ask you a few things here and then we're going to get into some deeper stuff. Uh, what's coming up for you guys, man? Uh, we're really excited to have you as a part of the of the reggae and and the family that is reggae music here, not just the U.S., but all over the world. It is a worldwide family of reggae music. What's coming up? So uh, what's coming up? We're going on tour uh, from February 23rd to March 20th about um, we're going to be hitting the road on tour with Ayaterra article sound system and Cass Haley. Um, going to be basically going from Brooklyn out to the Midwest and then down to Florida for about two weeks. So um, we're what's coming up next is that we're going on tour for what's going to be our longest stint on the road um, playing with some really amazing bands. We're super excited to kind of, spread spread the sundown message across the midwest and and yes. the northeast southeast 2023 is sundub on the road year yeah and the years after but you know we released spirit seat music in november 2022 so uh we didn't really have the opportunity to tour and support that record yet so 2023 is about getting on the road getting out there putting the music in front of people making new fans expanding yeah the 
the band and our footprint and the scene. A little different from the way that we released our last record, which came out in June 2019. We were planning on setting out on the tour on tour and then bang, the door shut for everybody. Boom. <laughs> Bye. So, uh, ways to, you know. Yeah, I, I call it the jam demic, you know. Yeah. Uh, it, there was there was no music. There was nothing. I was on tour uh, out west with the elevators in March of 2020. Got a call from our manager said, hey, you're sold out in Phoenix tomorrow night. Uh, but you guys are heading back to Boston uh, after that. The whole world is shutting down. And oh. you guys had it arguably the worst. Um in New York and, and surrounding areas, man, that must have just been so, so scary and so difficult. Yeah, it was definitely a lot. Definitely a lot everywhere. Yeah. Um, I'm just glad that it seems like the majority of those times are behind us. We can get back on our sort of back on our path of really putting in the work and moving around the country, playing and making new music. Yeah. So, yeah, and, and teaching everyone that music can not only be listened to and felt, but it can be eaten as well. Yeah. You know, I like that. That's very cool. Yes. So, a few more questions. Let's get deep. I read, said, Sundub is a testament to the power of inclusion, diversity, and unity. Their music and community rallies around the concept that we are strongest when people of different backgrounds can work together to create positive change tell us about the state of the world right now and what what we can all do to make things just a little bit better mm. that's a good question <laughs> what can we do um <clears throat> Well, first of all, I'll speak to the, to like, you know, kind of what comes to mind when I hear that, you know, our sort of mission statement written down, um, you know, Sundub started as a, as a band that was playing a residency every week in Williamsburg. And um, every week we opened up the stage to whoever wanted to come through and play. You know, whether you know reggae or not, whatever instrument you play, wherever you come from, whatever, whatever color your skin is, you know, whatever socioeconomic class you're coming from, you're, everybody is welcome on that stage. And that is what that's what Sundub was born from, um, because that is what makes music rich is when people bring their own influences, their own culture, their own personal history, their own desires and wants to a space that's welcome where you can have conversation you know, whether with words or with music, whatever it is, everybody is coming with open eyes, open ears, open hearts, ready to learn from each other. And I think that that's a big part of what Sundub is about too. It's about kind of uh, soaking up history and kind of transferring it into a current project. You know, whatever the song is that you're writing at that moment, it's informed by, by relationships, by history, by our desire to leave the world a better place than it was when we found it, how, whatever that might mean. Um, and so I think it's what we're trying to do is continue to learn, learn from what has happened and be true and not be afraid to speak up for the things that we do believe in and have the conversations about the harder things. So I think to answer your question, that is it. It's like That's learning learning about what has happened, knowing that if you take the time and you trust in your power and your words, you can you can leave the world a better place. And while you're doing that, invite everybody that you possibly can into that process because that's going to inform it and make it a more wholesome experience. Yeah, and you can't do it yourself either. Right. You can't. It's a family. We are all a family. Everything should just be family, man. And that's what this, you know, reggae music is. It is a family. And if you don't want to be in the family, you don't have to be. Go somewhere else. But we are a family here. And welcome, son Dub, to the family. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Well, you know, Ben and I are brother and sister. So even though we don't necessarily come from 
different backgrounds ourselves, actually, you know, quite specifically from the exact same background. <laughs> um, you know, it's, uh, it feels good to be a part of that family, the greater family. Um, welcome to the Sundub welcome Nation Welcome to the Sundub family. Nation family, indeed. Sundub Nation. Check it out at Sundub Music, sundubmusic.com. The brand new record is called Spirits Eat Music. They're doing something new. You can not only hear music, feel music. Now you can eat it for all three meals of the day and yeah. even that late night snack if you need it. I got right. one more question for you guys. Everybody gets it the first time I chat with them. Again, it has been such a pleasure, guys. Joanna and Ben of Sundub, what does reggae mean to you? Uh, the eternal question um, for me reggae symbolizes sort of what Joanna just sort of spoke about is like this constant learning I'm, oh, I'm constantly learning about reggae music and how it fits together and that's sort of like a metaphor for you know you're constantly learning through your life about how it fits together, how you fit together with other people, how, you know, we work together. Um, it, it represents growth. It represents a deep connection. Um, represents fun. Mm -hmm. Represents groove. Family, like you said. Yeah. For me, reggae... Um, I kind of had this like a little bit of a like a revelation on stage a couple of months ago where you know we were getting into the like the the rhythm and dub sections of different songs which is like such a cornerstone of what reggae is is like that you know changing from the super high end to the super low end quite quickly and back and forth and back and forth and like that is you know that coupled with the heartbeat to me are the things that make reggae reggae and um, it can be like a very spiritually cleansing thing to be experienced, to be taking that in. And I think um, it makes more, it, it really can shift you energetically in a way that a lot of other music doesn't necessarily do. Like intrinsically reggae music is like sort of an emo like an energetic cleanse in a lot of ways. So that is often yes. what it means to me. Um, and then, you know, as I mentioned, coupled with the, the way that this music was like built, it's, it's, it, it is at, you know, there's a couple of different ways that it has developed over the years, but it is protest music and that's really crucial to me. So reggae is also an opportunity to speak truth to power. There's so many different things it can mean. And I've asked so many different artists it, and you know, it's a different answer every time. Joanna and Ben and the rest of the band keep doing what you're doing. I think you guys have a wonderful thing going. Keep teaching people that you can eat music, keep yeah. chanting on stage, keep showing love, keep showing everybody that Brooklyn rules. Easy yeah. Star at Sundub Music. It's been a pleasure. Thank you all so much. Thank you Thank so much. You. It's been a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you Appreciate for having us on the show.